that hole. This is where we're heading. The mystery and the museum. Do not cross. With me, you can cross. <laughs> oh, we can't. I can't cross. There's a fourth wheel. Oh, I hear it. The students in this class, and you'll be able to watch a video with the students in the crime scene. <laughs> Earlier, the class had discussed alien life and DNA. They made some DNA bracelets to represent their own genetic traits. You guys will be able to examine those bracelets to find out more evidence. After that experiment, the museum educator noticed that something was missing. So you guys, you have to find out what was missing and who took what was missing. Who had the means, opportunity, and motive to take something from the classroom? It's your job to find out. Good luck. Where are we here? Um, in the crime. Good luck, guys. Okay. Rain is over. What are the straw between your teeth as you speak? Make the sound. Try it. Hmm. I want to try it. Come on, you're my side rain, don't you? No. Right in the center. Right in the center. Say something. Hi, <laughs> Crystal. Something. They're disguised in their voices. They're practicing pretending to read the newspaper <laughs> and spying on crooks. I think the newspaper is a good idea. I'm going to public. Yeah, maybe girls don't have them, but you have them if you want. Actually, she will have them. Uh oh. I think he just threw you under the bus. Do you want the little thing for the chin? Blonde. Yeah, you got it. I got blonde. Did cool. yep. it, Jeff? Good job, Jay. SB's high name is Purple Polar Bear. What's your favorite name? What's your what's your by name? Yellow crow. Yellow bird. Yellow crow. What? No, I mean yellow bird. Yeah. Let me see your, of course Rami changed his, Yellow Monkey is his spy name. I am Monkey. SB's Purple Polar Bear. Jake, what did you do with you? Put a tree in the middle of the station. Oh my god, a tree. That was far. The bank. Now go, Rami. You gotta do it fast. So you can turn the light on. And I think it says, yep, it's on, it's coming on. This is a Navy, that's a Navy uniform. Yes. Some liquids to find out which one it was, okay? So you already said that the mystery liquid was yellow. Is that what you said? Yep. And I've got some of the mystery liquid right there, and it's pretty much yellow. The mystery liquid was yellow, right? And then we've got some examples of some other liquids here that you're welcome to look at and determine which color they are and what pH they are. Okay? This is telling you about acid and bases, right? Yeah. And if we look at And then you can go ahead and stick your thumb, doesn't matter which one, in the ink. Just press it on down. And then 
and then press it right onto the bolt. used by everybody in the room. Can you see how they're labeled? So you're going to test each of these and analyze the results of your test to see if it matches the note. And then you might figure out who wrote the note and see if they've already tested the original note. So you need, do you want to do it separate or together? Okay, so why don't we move this down up. You're going to need four of these test strips. And there's two there. Can you set them? Okay. Yeah. I'll do one. Yeah, that's a good idea. So, notice... Okay, that's not a line. Do it at the other end. Just the line, straight down. That's it. Now, hold the paper. Like that. You dip it into the water. Just, that's enough, that's plenty. And now watch as the water migrates up the piece of paper over the ink. How does the ink behave? And now you lay it down under that suspect's name on your pen. Three people use that pen. Good. It is skinny. Yeah, it's skinny. They're matching the ink. So who wrote it? Vanessa. And they think Vanessa. From the some of them are from the 20s. That's from 69. Those are from the 20s. That's from 1960s. That's from the 20s. 1900s. 1925. Go back to your World War II. That's from 1865. 1940. 1950. 
Well, good afternoon, everyone. My name is Ben David. I'm the district attorney, which means I'm going to prosecute a crime that I've heard has been alleged to have occurred here in Wilmington. Have you guys been investigating a crime here today on behalf of law enforcement? And what crime was committed today? Yeah. Theft. That's exactly right. What lawyers call larceny. That's a very serious thing. Probably heard of it before it happens, and when it does, we try and send a thief to jail. You guys ready to convict a thief and let innocent people go? Yep. Gonna need your help. I have some officers with the New Hanover Sheriff's Office with me today. And as you can see, we have a number of suspects. And what we were trying to do is eliminate, play a process of elimination to say who couldn't have done this crime. Now, to convict people and to exonerate them, we have to have evidence. There's two types. There's physical evidence. Have you been collecting some fingerprint evidence and DNA evidence, things like that today? That's physical evidence. And then we have something called eyewitness testimony or you know, video where you can actually see something that's occurred and people can come in and even talk about it on a witness stand where they swear to tell the truth. She's watched some videos today as well and look around this museum today for witnesses. Done that? Now, these are the suspects. And what we're going to do today is walk you through what I do in my job. I love moms. Don't you love moms? Yes. Well, not only am I married to a great mom, but in my job, I look for moms. Motive, opportunity, and means. M-O-M. -M. Now, I want to walk you through and look at these suspects and ask you if we can eliminate some of our suspects today. Human and non-human. First of all, this teacher that we have right here from Cape Fear Museum, does anyone think he committed this crime? You're shaking your head no, why not? There's no evidence that he did it, right? Let's talk about motive for a second. What would cause someone to commit a crime? Does this teacher have a good motive to commit this crime? No. No, he doesn't. Someone tell me why. Yes, sir. The microscope was already fixed. The microscope was already... You don't have to steal something that you already own. That's right. Can we let him go? Can we let an innocent person go? Yeah. yeah. Everybody ready to do that beyond a reasonable doubt? Yeah. Sir, that this woman, to the exclusion of all others, is guilty of the crime of larceny. Place her under arrest and take her to jail. Watch this. <laughs> All right, parents, let's give these junior detectives a hand. You've got the right Okay, these two solved the crime. They thought it was Vanessa and she was and she got arrested, right? Yes. yes. So meet two little junior detectives. Do either one of y'all want to be a detective when you grow up? Me. Okay. <laughs> We're leaving now. Thank it's you so much for watching. Bye.